We're talking with Herman O. Bly, and the question, sir, who, who is it that really wrote these blueprints for disaster? Where, 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 do, the, where do these wacky ideas come from? Well, I pointed out that uh, the uh, this main one of containment of the Soviet Union, rather than trying to stop communism in its tracks over there in the Soviet Union, was George F. Kennan. He's still alive. He's about 93 years of age. I believe that maybe he would be a good man for Congress to call and ask just what he had in mind and who told him and who discussed this with him and who wanted him to set up this secret uh, NSC 68. Why hasn't that been done? I don't know. Okay. Whom else? Okay. Uh, we go on from there. Uh, apparently Franklin Delano Roosevelt then... Uh, of course, in recognizing the Soviet Union was the, was the first real key person to to start the uh, role of communism in, in, in its real worldwide form. Do you know that the Soviet Union at one time had over 99 communist parties in various countries of the world under its direction hmm. and gave money to each one trying to overthrow their particular country? And here we carry on uh, relationships with the Soviet Union without trying to stop them from doing that. Okay, and I could go on and on and uh, and uh, discuss uh, their their organizations. Uh, I'm not condemning these organizations. They may have lots of good people involved in them. I'm talking about the so-called Council on Foreign Relations that was formed in 1921. Uh, that uh, believes in a in a much closer world, uh, sort of a one world proposition. Uh, with each country, of course, by coming into a world organization, just like states, they have to give up a lot of its sovereignty in order to become part of a larger organization. And then the Bilderbergers came along. They were a group of more or less uh, CEOs and people of, uh, of big corporations that that wanted to help develop uh, this one world idea. And then, of course, we had in 1973, we had the Trilateral Commission that was the Rockefeller uh, organization that was formed in order to uh, uh, bring together close Japan and uh, Europe and the United States. That's where they get the trilateral name. All desirous of bringing the world into a one world uh, organization. Now, there's got to, somebody had to be behind this. What wasn't wasn't uh, Rhodes? Uh, one of the guys, I mean, you know, Cecil Rhodes was really a character, but yeah. what, wasn't he one of the guys that was behind this this, uh, this goofy ideology? Well, yes, uh, Cecil Rhodes is a gold uh, expert from South Africa and so forth and so on that made millions, and of course uh, his idea was for a global world, and, uh, and he put up lots of money and things got started, uh, especially the Council on Foreign Relations, uh, 3,200 people, some of the greatest names in America belong to that organization. I'm not condemning those people. They're, I'm sure they're in there with good intentions, but uh, some people behind the scenes are pushing things uh, much louder. I, I, I'm, I, I studied uh, a couple of years of the... Uh, they, they publish a publication called Foreign Affairs. It yeah, comes I, out quarterly. I get it. And if you study that very closely, you'll see that the whole indication is toward a real happy world that we're going to do away with poverty, we're going to do away with with wars, there are things that's really going to be nice. That's, that's the same communist idea of a one world. It's a, a paradise, so to speak. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's so much. Uh, my book goes into so many little things like this that I, I, I really, if I wish it could become a textbook. Not that I want to make money out of it. I just think and I really do believe that this is information that the American people really ought to understand. Yeah, but, but the, the, the saddest part about it is that these kinds of things have been covered up by the media because many of, as a matter of fact, if you, if you will take the time to read uh, the roster of the CFR and the Trilateral Commission, I've done that. You'll, you'll probably find the editor of the newspaper you read as a member. And I can remember working for big media organizations. Once in a while, I'd get a story out. But if I did, and if I was going down the wrong route, I'd get called into the office. And they'd say, you know, we don't need to follow up this course. This is going to offend different people. And uh, uh, why don't you find something else to write about? And, and if you got called to the office too many times, you were out of a job. Hang on, everybody. We'll be back. Your question, what is the status of the world communists right now? What are they trying to do? How do we stop them? 
Well, things are a little quiet on that scene now. They're not uh, blaring out their bugles and uh, they're not making any charges. But I'm concerned. The main reason I wrote this book is because I'm concerned about communist China. Did you know that in 1960, it started about 1956, but 1960 there was a break in ideology between the Chinese communists and the Soviet communists. Did you know that? Yes, sir. And uh, the Chinese communists felt that the Soviet communists were getting soft in their fight against capitalism. Right. And therefore, they, they were the real uh, communists, that the Soviets were revisionists, and therefore uh, should no longer head the international communist movement. And that break continued on. It never has been breathed. It never has uh, come together again. But there's just one thing before I hang up that uh, I really think uh, the people that are listening to this broadcast ought to know. I'm sure they have not heard it. All right. The World Affairs Council of Philadelphia met on the 4th of July, 1976. At this meeting, a new document called a Declaration of Interdependence was drawn up to supersede our revered Declaration of Independence signed by John Hancock and other great American patriots on the 4th of July, 1776. This new document proposed a total surrender of national sovereignty, our total disarmament, and even our constitutional right to bear arms. This 1976 Declaration of Interdependence was reportedly signed by, and hold your breath, 104 of our U.S. Senators and Representatives in endorsing the Declaration of Interdependence, our 1976 Congressman promised, quote, We, the undersigned, members of Congress, support the principles embodied in the Declaration of Interdependence of the World Affairs Council of Philadelphia and urge their study and discussion to promote American policy and initiative which respond to new global conditions of interdependence. What a difference 200 years make. How, how, would, you, how would you be able to get a list of those, uh, those nitwits? And they must be available somewhere. I've, I've never, mo I never moved into that direction. It would be well to know whether how many of them are still in Congress. Well, you know, I, I'm sure that uh, that Dodd was one of them, and I'm sure that uh, uh, that, that Looney uh, Teddy was another one. But uh, good grief! And uh, that, that, doesn't that shock you? Does the American people know these things? Where is the American? Uh, where is the media? Where is the? Uh, why hasn't uh, some of the congressional committees looked back at these things and, and try to understand just what went on? Well, sir, uh, you and I both know that the current administration, uh, if, if they are not global socialists, they are <laughs> they're frogs. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. By the way, uh, when President Carter was in power, he brought in 17 members of the... Yeah of the Trilateral Commission to help him run the government. And boy, what a sorry four years that was. Yeah, all I can say is thank God and Greyhound he's gone. Uh, sir, thank you very much, Mr. Herman O. Bly. Communism, the Cold War, and the FBI connection. Uh, it is very inexpensively priced. You can get it at the Order Center at 888-622-2676. 888-622-2676. And he tells you, like it is, folks, if you want to know why this country is all screwed up, you can find out who done it. And now that we know and you can learn, we can figure out how we can all get together and fix it while we still can. Thanks all the best. May God bless. Thank you, sir.